So here's the Sephora favorites. Um, the Sephora favorites give me some nude lip. How do you guys feel about nude lips? Um, I'm okay about them. That's kind of why I purchased this because I was like, I don't know. I've had a couple of nudes that I wasn't too crazy about, but then I've had some that I really enjoy. So anyways, this little guy here is $28 and it's had, they have some in stock right now. It has been selling out pretty quickly. So that's why, as I was saying, I wanted to let you know about it. So, um, and okay. The first guy here is the Marc Jacobs Pout Liner Longwear Lip Pencil in Prim Rose. Um, the next one was um the new no the tart. This here was tart. Um, the new tartiest. It's a liquid lipstick. Well, lip lip paint they call it. And this, of course, both of them are um deluxe sizes. They're like sample sizes. And this is in the tartiest lip paint in Namaste. Namaste. Um, the next here is. The Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Pencil in Whisper. Very pretty. Um, the next here is the Laura Mercier. And this is also a deluxe sample size. And so is this one, the Nude Sticks. And look at that. It's a very, um, it's more of a brownie nude. And last but not least is a full-size product. So, I mean, that's pretty good. This full-size product, full-size is $27. So, it pretty much pays for itself as it is. Um, just by knowing you're getting this full size with four other other to try out. And this one, I thought it was, this is Dulce Vita by NARS. And I thought it was very sheer. But I liked it. Um, so I guess I was going to put them on for you guys and let you look real quick. And I also have here a little bite um, lush lip wipe. So here we go. Real fast. So you can see, like I was saying, I think this is very new, uh, sheer, but hmm. once you have like lipstick on already and then you just want to reapply or look at that for like a no makeup makeup, that is pretty. I like that. So let me, um, I'll play around here. We'll line them. I should, maybe should have lined them first, right? But here we go. Oh, I'm going to check myself on. Huh? It's so smooth. I like it. What do you guys think? That is really pretty. Feels really good. So, I kind of hate to take it off, but we're going to do this. This is all about the review, right? And this is a uh, kind of like a first impression of this too. Oh wow, so thin. Sorry, you hear the kids fighting over there. They're um, watching more Sunday, Saturday morning cartoons. So oh, mm, okay. Let's try not to take the foundation off. Mm. Feels good though, moisturizing. Like as I'm taking off this product, it doesn't feel trying okay sweet we'll go for next I'm gonna try this Laura Mercier I was kind of curious about that one the brownie uh, the brownish nudie color it's a little bit <laughs> frost like not frosty um okay I so know. that was really nice this um Laura Mercier is what we we're working on oh but Jesus here we go Oh, very nudie. Ooh, I like that. I dropped the lid. Table under my table. Yes, I will go there. Check it out. I really like that, guys. Ooh, I love these nude colors. Like, they're just good for every day. You know, just throw them on. No need to worry about if it's on <laughs> perfect you know if you're just in a hurry okay next I'm gonna go for this guy and here we go Ooh, I don't know if I'll use this for my cheeks necessarily but what do you think 
a bit, um, what is it, like it when it mutes you out or something? But that's okay, that's just because it's my skin tone. I mean, this was like, oh, you guys, we're going to waste it some more. Let's see. even layer them all together. Which one should we layer next? Make it pinky colored? Make it turn it back to pink? <laughs> Let's see. We'll, we'll do this. I know this this was just a last minute idea. After trying them on it's like let me see what Can you see the difference? This one's actually like more brown, more pinky. You can barely tell. They're nude, guys. You can I can see the difference, but just a interesting little thing there. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna do this tart. And like I said, I wanted to do this fast. This is uh I can't say this is like a good review. They all feeling so beautiful. I do have Sorry guys, I do have one of these, the Tarte, in FOMO. It's like the limited edition one, and that's why I got that one. I don't know. I figured if I'm gonna get any, I'm gonna get that one. It was a pretty mauvey color, so I liked it anyways. But this one was the next one on my list, the Namaste, because it's like a mauvey, not mauve, mauve, mauve nude color. It's minty. It, it reminds me of the Girl Scout cookies a little bit. Those thin mint, they're the mint Girl Scout cookies. Mm. What do you guys think? Not very nude. It's okay. I would use this one for mixing colors. Maybe if I want something just real fast, I would throw this one on. I don't know. I don't really reach for these colors, but I'm going to try to. Just because I do like it. It's just, I'm more like, if I'm going to put something on, I go for colors, like purples. <laughs> I go for a lot of purples and mauvey colors. And then browns. And I've been venturing into like the really vampy colors this past season. So, I like... I like that. This, okay, the Tarte one, it says liquid lipstick, and a lot of the li liquid lipsticks that are on the market, they've been complaining about drying and whatnot. Like, I really love the Kat Von D ones, but they are a bit drying. So I just know that I need to, like, care for the lips before I go in and put it on, and then after it comes off and I take it off, I'll reapply some good lippy lip stuff. So, um, but these Tarte ones, it's like not dry yet so it continuously stays moist like you will have um you know drinking coffee i was gonna i thought i brought my coffee but i didn't you will leave like a lipstick mark um see i read that you that they dry like in 10 to 15 minutes but to be honest that fomo one i didn't think that it was drying and i'm always drinking water or coffee or something so Maybe that's why I didn't give it enough time. I'm like, seriously, always have my cup on hand. So, you guys, um, if you're interested in it, go get it before it sells out. And that's my main thing. It sells out really fast. All these Sephora favorites, they have some really nice, um, cool things to try. And, I mean, for $28, you pretty much get this full-size guy and all of these, like I said, uh, for a dollar more to try them out. And... I like them. They're all really good. I can't say more than much else. Great things about it. Great day. Go check it out. The link is below, of course. And um, you guys have a great day. And if it's sold out on online, I'm pretty sure you can find it in stores. But you'll have to maybe call before you go in there. But it is online as of right now. Oh, and there's 8% cash back. If you do Ebates, have you ever heard of Ebates? Okay, so you shop online, right? If you shop online. I suggest you shop online. It works out great for me because I live in a super tiny town where malls, stores are like 30 minutes or further away. So for me, shopping online is very, very convenient. So I use the Ebates. Um, you go to Ebates and then you 
go wherever you want to shop at and you click from their link and it takes you to their page and you'll get a certain percentage of cashback like two percent four percent right now Sephora is at eight percent so they're not always at eight percent Sephora is usually at four percent and then you every quarter like four times a year uh, or is it month no it's like quarterly or something you get a big fat check as they call it or you can get it like um, electronically deposited or all that but I get my sent to me in the mail and it works it really does um, I have a link down below you can also check out to go sign up for Ebates for you because you can save money for shopping online it sounds silly I never understood it but it works <laughs> um, what else I don't know you guys have a great day and sign up for Ebates if you're gonna do oh that's what I was gonna say if you use like I use Firefox so I let it where it ebates has a little button at the top a little icon that blinks out at me if there's an ebates deal and so when you before you check out be sure to click it and it'll like it'll be red usually and telling you hey click me if you want to if you're going to proceed with your purchase then you click it because sometimes you just window shop online do you ever do that i do that a lot like just hmm, what is this or just researching in general and it pops up so i'm sometimes closing it out to like get out of my way or clicking on it to make a purchase and getting my savings. So you guys, don't forget to do that. Click on it, and then you can get your savings. So you guys have a good day. Take care. Don't forget to use the beats and enjoy your nude lips. Have a good day.